hello viewers in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make passport size photographs in photo Photoshop first of all we'll be needing sample photographs uh, and here are a few sample photographs uh, photo 1 photo 2 photo 3 photo 4 and photo 5 as you can see as you can see uh, the sample photo number one photo number two and photo number three are very clear and bright these photographs are very clear and bright while this photo number four and five they have little bit of shadow casted behind uh, this is because the, the photo number one two and three they were taken uh, from a professional camera uh, DSLR camera uh, using soft boxes as light sources that's why these photos are very clear without any shadows while this photo number three and four was taken by the same camera but without using soft boxes and uh, the light source was the camera's flash itself that's why there is shadow behind the subject now you can take uh, the photographs from any camera or have photographs scanned from some other photo and use that photo as well now let's begin the process first of all I'm gonna take start with a photograph taken without proper light source which I have shadow in it start with this photo open this photo in Photoshop okay the photo is open first thing you can do in this photo is uh, you have to you can remove the shadow now in order to remove the shadow there are several methods several ways we can do it uh, first thing uh, is use a polygon lasso tool now uh, select a point like this and start from there now start clicking and making selections like this uh, try to make the selections as clear as possible and while making selection try to zoom in the photo uh, you can zoom in by pressing control plus like this and zoom out by click pressing control minus and s click through the border <coughs> during this clicking process if anything goes wrong like this let's say then you can simply press backspace key and go one step back if you press something and if the whole selection process is gets uh, disturbed then start the selection process all the way from the beginning now in order to complete the selection circle double click it now you can see the portion of the shadow is selected now use the smudge tool here this smudge tool and simply drag now mm, 
one thing also about the the circle this circle the circle that we are looking at is the brush size which can be decreased or increased by pressing uh, open bracket and close brackets if you press open brackets it becomes smaller brush size if you press close bracket it will become larger it will grow uh, the same thing can be done from here also here you can see now in order to remove the shadow simply drag make drag like this the bigger the brush size it's better mm. this side it's done now go to the other side select the polygonal lasso tool and start making selections try to make the selections as perfect as possible Okay, now complete the circle by simply double clicking. Now use the smudge tool again and as I said earlier, the bigger the brush size, the better it will be, the e easier it will be. Now simply drag in towards the skin like this and the shadow will be gone. The next thing you want to do is change the background color. The background is grayish or yellowish, as you can we can see. Now, in order to change the background color, you we can use the curves tool, image curves, which can be found here. Image adjustment curves and we can also do it alternatively from keyboard shortcut using control M and press this set white point button and click on the background of the image now you can see the background is completely white if you need minor adjustment in the brightness and brightness of the image then you can use image adjustment and levels tool and adjust the brightness by adjusting this slider this way if you move the slider towards the right the picture becomes darker and towards the left it becomes brighter too much bright if your photograph is too much bright then it's no good adjust it according to your requirement I think this much is okay sometimes what happens is try and press this auto button if th this auto button tries to automatically adjust the photos brightness contrast to its best best quality try it sometimes sometimes it works sometimes it makes the photograph look more vibrant sometimes it doesn't right now as you can see this photograph the is uh, the looks of the photograph hasn't become good that's why I am cancelling this I think this is good this much is good now make the selection uh, now we are making password size photo uh, 
in most countries pass passport size photos are 35 mm by 45 mm sometimes you can use 30 by 35 mm right now we are using 35 by 45 mm and we are setting the resolution of the image to 300 do not put the resolution lower than 300 as it will uh, decrease the quality of the image put it to 300 and this 300 resolution uh, that is 300 pixel per inch must also be used in the actual photo frame which we will be using a little bit later right now after the crops tool has been selected make a selection and in order to make the picture exactly in the center try to put the center cursor on the nose if you want you can adjust the thing as per your requirement a little bit okay after the cropping now uh, complete the cropping command by pressing this button or pressing enter now make the selection of the entire image by pressing ctrl a and ctrl c or which can also be done by edit copy now make a new frame from file new and name this frame passport photo you can name it anything just for now I am writing passport photo and select inches from here width and height and select 4 by 6 and like I said earlier the resolution must be 300 put this resolution 300 do not change this resolution to anything else other than 300 otherwise the shape of the photo that we are using that is 35 by 45 it will not be correct it will be changed okay now press okay now this is the new frame that we just created uh, now oh, uh, you have to import the photo uh, the earlier th th that we copied earlier into this frame but before doing that uh, let's uh, do a little bit of rotation in this frame to 90 degrees CCW like this ok now the orientation of the frame has been changed and now you can paste the photo ok the photo is pasted into this frame now click edit and stroke and choose black color and width of the stroke to 1 or 2 pixel it doesn't matter don't make it more than 1 or 2 and select the location to center uh, center inside outside it doesn't matter okay first photo is done now open the other photo okay let's take this one again okay similarly remove the shadow from this photo also uh, last time we used polygonal lasso tool now this time I am going to use magnetic lasso tool uh, this magnetic lasso tool automatically makes selections according to pixels uh, unlike polygonal lasso where we have to click and make the selection in this tool first start make a choose a starting point like this and simply you don't have to click simply move the cursor over the border and it will automatically calculate and make selections
and close the circle like this now to remove the shadow just like earlier use much tool remove everything Now change the background color by pressing Ctrl M curves. This photograph needs a little bit of tilting. I can see that this photograph is tilted towards its right, a little bit towards its right. And we need a little bit of tilting towards the left this can be done by selecting the ruler tool from here measurement tool measure tool ruler and select a measurement point from here to here the measurement point has been selected like the measurement point can be uh, selected like this from here to here also or here to here also no problem and click on image rotate canvas arbitrary now the uh, rotation factor i mean uh, the degree at which the photo must be rotated is automatically selected because we have made the selection according to the i mean uh, measurement points we took it automatically selects now the photo looks perfect and straight now make start the cropping process select 35, 45, 300 and make the cropping selection try to put the center point in the nose mm. select the photo by pressing ctrl A and ctrl C and paste the photo in our main frame ma ctrl V uh, put a border by stroking the photo and move the photo uh, align the photo with this photo now in order to move this photo and align with this photo choose the move tool select the layer in which the photo is placed right now it's this layer layer 2 and move it sometimes if the other layer is selected then the other photo will move that's why select the correct layer uh, the correct layer can al also be selected by right clicking on the layer and selecting layer 2 like this let's say if two photographs are overlapped like this then right clicking on it will show us two layer names and which layer do we want to move we can click on that layer and start the moving process like this in order to make it easy we can do one thing is name the layers according to the name of the person let's say this layer 2 is the layer of the woman woman 1 and layer 1 is man 1 now right click we have the name of the layers accordingly and we can move the layers right now first we put move the man layer and then select the woman layer and woman layer put that these layers now we uh, you must be wondering how these layers came now whenever we copy anything from another file and bring it to another another I mean Photoshop file and paste it then the new pasted image will be 
placed as a layer like this look I just pasted uh, the image copied the image from other one and the paste here and it will be placed as a layer right now I don't need this layer and I will be deleting the layer now let's do the same process for the other images uh, okay this layer uh, as I said earlier this photo was taken from a professional camera uh, using soft boxes so it does not require any kind of editing S uh, only thing we need to do in this photo is a little bit of tilting and that I think it is not required in this one simply select the photo copy it and bring it to the main file stroke it while doing this if you want to adjust the brightness and contrast then select the layer press control L and you can adjust the brightness and contrast select I'm selecting doing this for the woman also likewise do the same for the other photos this way you can arrange all the photos now we see that we have four layers now merge all those four layers into one layer now all the four layers of the photo has been merged into one layer now this can be done by selecting one of the layers and clicking the link button over here now these four layers are linked and then press ctrl E to merge them into one layer now now if you want then you can add more photos by the same process select the photos edit the photos copy them bring here and paste it right now in this case I'm not going to do that anymore now once the layers have been linked I'm making a duplicate copy of this photo uh, once the layer has been linked press control alt and drag the layer which will make a duplicate copy of the layer and I am dragging it and placing it right under the layer now you can see there are two layers uh, one thing the layer name has been changed to child because when we were l linking and merging the layers we were we selected the child layer once the child layer is selected and once we link and merge the layer then the new merged layer will be named to child because we had selected that layer earlier now again merge the two layer and the final photo is ready now uh, make a selection of this layer 
which can be done by con pressing control and clicking this layer and crop the photo now save this photo and save it in jpeg format and this photo is ready to be printed this is all thank you